I ran across a really quick little study because I was just in London. I just got back last night. And if one quarter of Brits have visited a psychic, 25% of British people have visited a psychic. I'm surprised it's not more. Yeah, well, I mean, actually, but that still seems like a lot to me. And we're going to also put astrology to the test, and we're going to talk about the basic underlying psychological principles that lead us to believe astrology. Okay. Look out. I'm in for all of it. So, a Gallup survey found over a quarter of the U.S. public believes in psychic abilities. That seems low to me. And research estimates a quarter of UK adults have visited a psychic, as I said, and 10% see them regularly. You can't say regularly. Regularly. It's a, yeah, it's it's a, a lot t- of It's a tough R's one. It's, I got a big tongue. And many who consult Are you bragging psychic- or complaining? <laughs> I'm loving it. So many who consult psychics believe they are truthful. I hear this from clients all the time. People will come into my practice and they'll say, oh, my psychic just told me X, Y, Z. I actually don't try to break people of those beliefs. Mm-mm. I work with those beliefs. Smart. Because what happens is people are coming in and what they're remembering their psychic says has somehow resonated with them. And then we talk about it. So actually, it's very useful for me in therapy when they do such a thing.